Hi, my name is Tara from Simple Day, and I'm on a mission to make Monday the best part of your week. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the video description below. I want to walk you through a recent CRM setup that I did for a company based in the U.S., this company man works with different nursing um, and home health care agencies to basically fill out forms that are required for their employees. So the overall setup is that they start with a database because they receive a database. They receive basically lists, Excel sheets of all of these different companies throughout the U.S. And then they want to enter them into the CRM. So we start with the database. And this is something that's very common. A lot of companies have that. Now, just to review the boards that are here, we have a leads board, a clients board, a deals board, and activities, which tracks all the activities. But I'll walk you through that. And then we have an overview where we can see the overall KPIs and metrics for everything that's going on with this business development. So we're going to start on the agency database board. And basically, this is just an Excel list that was uploaded. Um, it's tracked by there's different types, there's different groups, it's basic contact information. And then what we have is we have a button to add it to the leads board, because what happens is th this list has thousands of leads on it, and they're not going to, they're not going to be adding all of the leads at once, they want to be able to manage based on, you know, the time and how much, you know, the resources that they have. So what so what we have here is you, you would the, the workflow starts by coming to this board and let's say we're going to do advanced home care. You're going to add it to the leads board and you're going to see that it's going to be connected to this board in a minute. So the only automations that are on this board is when a button is, when this button is clicked, you're going to add an item to the leads board, which I'll show you in a minute. And you're going to connect to this column. And this status is a mirror column because we do always want to see the status of what's going on. So now if we go over, remember we're at adv advanced home, um, home care. So we're going to go to the leads board and we can see that they showed up. Okay. So here is where we're managing basically all of our leads. We have an account manager, the type, Th this lead list didn't have the account information. So I'm just going to enter it. Some of them do. So obviously you could just pull that information through. So you could see that I'm going to have this information and this is important because it's going to go through, um, to the list to the contact board later. Okay, I'm just gonna enter this. And there's also a place for, we have date created, if you want website link, any files, and you can see that there is a connection to the agency dashboard. Now, basically you start working, you see we have a due date, you start working on this list. This is connected to emails and activities. So what would happen is you can go in here into emails and activities and you could click add an activity. I'm gonna add a meeting and I'm gonna say that we wanted to um, discuss the pricing. Okay. I'm going to add that. And then if you go to the agent, to, sorry, to the activities board, you can see that this just came up that, um, we had a meeting, you can see the day, you can see the time, the status and what type of activity. So this is just a great way to keep track of all of these type of, um, meetings and CRM activities. So now that I've talk to the client. They decided that they want to move forward. I decide that they're a qualified lead. So I'm going to change this to qualified. And you can see now that there's an automation that says when status changes to qualified, move item to the client's board. So it's actually going to leave the leads board and go to the client board. Now here, it's going to show up in this group. Okay. And you notice that I have all of the information that's here. Now on this board, there's another automation that says when a new item is created, create an item in deals and connect it to deals. So here you see, I have a deals, um, column, and you can see that if I go to deals, advanced home care showed up here as well. So all of these, and there's an automatic link to the contacts. Okay. So now you see all of my information showed up now. If let's just say, remember we're on this, let's just say that they, um, we won this client. Okay. So I'm going to hit this as to want, change that status to one now, and it pushed it to a one group. Now, just to show you, if you go back to this agency database, you can see that this client was one. So you automatically know, okay, this is the status of this when you're working on this board. Now, I just want to show you the overview board, which is basically the KPI dashboard. Here you can see we have the total number of leads. We have all the statuses. We have the deals by account manager, the different stages in the deals. We have the deals that are won this month, the total contract value, and then the contracts by account manager. The contract value is just another column in the in the deal stage. You can see we just have contract value. So if you find yourself that you need a CRM set up relatively quickly for your company, 
using Monday.com. I think this is a great workflow. It's easy, it's simple, it's straightforward, but you can really capture a lot of information and really understand at every point exactly where things are holding. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did below, if you did, please comment, please either comment below, like below, or subscribe. Thanks so much. Have a great day.